Hi, we're Chris and Andy. We live in Central Florida, and theme parks are what we know best. So join us as we discover the meat and potatoes of Orlando theme parks and beyond. Hey everyone, we are here. It is the first weekend of the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2023. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing last year's shirt. It's still very comfortable. That's it's embarrassing, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we're here. It's the first weekend. It's not too hot yet. It's not 110 yet. It's only like 108. So yeah, I'm already starting to sweat, yet. but it's Park all good. It's pretty empty. So yeah. we're going to head out, try some food. Mm -hmm. See what it's like. There's some spicy things, some pickle milkshakes, and some chocolate salted caramel. I don't know about this one. Check out the merchandise. It's been a while since we've been up hot, so yeah. it's kind of nice that we're here. But we have our waters and yeah, our Motrin, and we're prepared and our antacids. <laughs> ready so, to face the day. You know. All right. We'll give it a shot. So come along. All right. Join us. And at the brewing lab, we have. We're going to try the orange cardamom wings. The Impossible Buffalo Tenders, Scotch Bonnet, and the infamous Pukka Milkshake that people keep posting about but not saying a word, so mm. we're gonna find out. We're gonna give you the real deal. Let's walk in. Here is the brewing lab at the Odyssey. And you can see they're doing the uh, cleaning over here. It's all the lab stuff, some beakers. This should be fun. So as you just saw, our friends from the Muppets, Dr. Bunsen, Honeydew, and Beaker are our hosts for the Brewing Lab at the Odyssey and you can see that they really did up the Muppets theming around here. It's a lot of fun to look at. All right, so we've made the order. So we have the orange cardamom wings, the scotch bonnet super crazy hot, the buffalo blue cheese Brussels sprouts, impossible chicken tenders, and the pickle milkshake. So we're gonna give it a try. Go for it. Eden's gonna try the impossible chicken, and Ethan and I are diving into the spicy. Temperature hot for the impossible wings? Yeah, okay. Really hot. I can't hold them. All right. What do you do? Uh oh. It's good. Ethan's going into break down here. Oh, good. A good uh, spicy. Good. She said the scotch bonnet was really spicy. It's not like intense spicy where it's like burning your lips like Adam Richmond. Mm hmm. I know I feel it. But it has a nice smoky taste. So if you want to try the scotch bonnet, I'm not dying for water right now. So this is one introduction into spicy. This is a good, All right. good first Ethan, do you agree? Is it a good introduction to spicy? It's not crazy hot. It's not hot, like no. the lips. It's just when you push try it, it immediately It smells you. more like curry in there than anything else. Yeah? Yeah, like Indian curry. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, and Chris is going to dive into the Brussels sprouts. Mm. And then he's going to be the first to try the pickle milkshake. So we're going to give him the mm. vegetarian. So buffalo blue cheese, oh, wow. Brussels sprouts. We're a Brussels sprout family, so we try them. Yeah, we are a Brussels sprout family. Andy makes them really good. Um, yeah, I do. These have got a little bit of uh, the heat, so definitely buffalo. But is it Frank's red hot sauce? It's not Because we put well, that if it's Frank's, on it's everything. It's like a mild Frank's. Um, okay. But it's good. I would definitely suggest this. All right, dive into the pickle. All right, now you get to do the pickle. Ethan, try the orange. Um, and you can see they've got the dill on there, and they've got the, uh, the seeds and everything. The lady said it's like drinking the juice from a pickle jar. Yeah. It's not going to send into the bathroom. I like it. Oh, <laughs> you really? I do. You yeah, can you give that like, a try. It's got a light pickle flavor. There's not. It's not huge, but huge pickle fan right here. Why don't you give it a try? 
I barely taste it to be quite honest. Yeah, it's like a light pickle, right? They said it's like a light dill flavor. Yeah, exactly. All right, and then I Ethan's like diving into the cardamom orange wings. Very orangey. Thank Very you. orangey. Orange chicken. Okay. Yeah. Food. So everybody who loves the orange bird, he has now officially gone, has been transformed into <laughs> chicken wings. So that craze is finally over. Goodbye, orange bird. All right. All right, so we're going to dive in and try. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so we had devoured, as you can see, just about everything. Yep. Again, we tried the uh, Brussels sprouts, the spicy scotch butter wings, the impossible boneless, and also the orange mandarin. Our least favorite was the cardamom wings. They just kind of taste like orange. You can skip that. Yeah. Surprisingly, the winner was the Brussels sprouts. If you're a Brussels sprout fan, adding blue cheese and hot sauce to it is really good. Second place, we liked the impossible chicken tenders. They kind of look like Tyson chicken tenders, right? I would not have guessed that that was not chicken. Very similar to the dinosaur uh, chicken nuggets we still buy. Yes. And uh, that same look and, and texture. Um, the Scotch Bonnet ones, it has a very strong curry smell and a very strong curry flavor. As you're eating it, it's not hot. It's one of those where it like, lingers on your tongue and your teeth. So, But it goes away pretty quickly. Yeah. So out of all of them, I think we get the Brussels sprouts and the Impossible ones again. The pickle milkshake kind of tastes like a vanilla milkshake. Yeah, it was very vanilla-like with a, if, just a bit of the dill. If you didn't tell me it was vanilla, I thought it'd be like a flavorless shamrock shake. And it's got like a lime-looking color too. Yeah, it looks like a shamrock shake with the vanilla yeah, with yeah. I forgot the mint. Yep. So overall, I think still our favorites here, which we didn't get this year, but they still have it, were the peanut butter and jelly sticky wings and those Parmesan wings. Yeah. But, um, so it was a good start. Brussels sprouts and impossible chicken for the win. Mm -hmm. Eden, what did you think of the scotch bonnet ones? Yeah, no. <laughs> and you, what did you think? Ethan, favorite? what are your thoughts? Uh, I thought the scotch bonnet ones were good. Yeah. Uh, my favorite, though, is the Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, there we go. Yep. Go, right, go so figure, can... Brussels sprouts with a win. All right, so we're gonna go brave the heat, go check out some stands and keep watching. Mexico. Just taking a walk around Mexico. It's always nice to come here when it's hot outside. You just kind of cool down for this. Yeah. It's not crazy good thing you're getting either, which is nice. Yeah. And it still smells like 1985. It's nice. It does. It's the water. An example of what happens to unattended children here in Mexico. Some good cocoa merchandise here. It's cool looking. And we're walking past Norway. It is 11.50 on a Sunday morning. And it's not that busy around here today. Yeah, I think a lot of the residents are probably doing all the back to school shopping. Yeah. That we did during the week. Yeah, we did that already. So we're kind of enjoying this low key Sunday. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to do our second shower of the day so I think at home. Of, Absolutely. Of course. All see, right, now we're in China. You can even see the line for China is pretty empty. China usually yeah. has a whole line. It is. So for China we've got the and fried chicken dumplings, a crispy duck bao bun, dan dan noodles. That's the usual. It's the usual stuff. All right. This is amazing. All right, right outside of China, we've got India, which doesn't match with the map, but we're going to try it anyway. And in India, we're gonna get the kids' favorite from last year, the mango lassi. So let's give it a try. Something the kids look forward to every year, the mango lassis over in India before we cross the bridge into the uh, Africa into trading Africa, yeah. area. So here you go, this is a nice refreshing. They do an alcohol version 
and non-alcohol. Since our kids are underage and we want them to sleep early, we got the alcohol versions for them. Nice. So enjoy. But it's only five dollars, and it's a good drink to have when you're cooling down. Yeah. What kind of alcohol do they put in there? Oh, try cream liqueur. liqueur. That's nice. So, yeah. what do you guys think? Very mangoey. Very mangoey. Yep. Same as last year. Yes. Yep. Nice. As we're going through Africa, we've got Kenya over here. Kenya's got the peri peri skewer shrimp, the Kenyan coffee barbecue beef. Remember they used to have that uh, chicken we used to get, the uh, really spicy, really good chicken? Yes. And um, I think you can only get that still. We have the recipe because we asked the chef, but they're spicy chicken kebabs, like a peanut satay, remember? Mm, that's very over good. Over at the Animal Kingdom Lodge in their quick service. Yes. I believe they still have that on us. They, yeah, they did a couple years ago. We haven't been back since, but yeah, that was really good. That was delicious. And there's a tip for you. Interesting way to stay cool in the Florida sun is take your towels from the hotel and wrap yourself around them. Whatever and works for you. Walk around. So yep. Don't bring it back so you don't get charged. And at the festival market, we've got these cute little Epcot backpacks. There's the spin locations. Always really pretty, but we're just saying. It's always the charcuterie, the paella, and the seafood salad. Yeah. Spain and Italy always look good, but it's always the same. Right. Scooch it up, Disney. Mm -hmm. How cute is this? We're in Italy now, and here's Pinocchio and Gideon, who we hardly ever see. Okay. Are you going to do it right now? Yes. Yep, we'll do it right now. Nokia's having a good time. And, uh, hey, Gideon. Can we take pictures? Oh, awesome. Oh, he's got the oh, perfect spot. Beautiful location. Oh, right there. Very nice. <laughs> All right. It is like character day out here at Epcot. We got Big Al, we've got King Louie, and we've got Max. Who's Goofy's son? How crazy is that? <laughs> hey, Big Al. I was like, I thought I'd All right, let's take a nice photo. I hear drums. That must mean we're in Japan. We come around to France. We see it's still not very busy here, but just enjoying the day. All right, what did you see? These are the coasters to make it look like a cheeseburger. I wonder if you can hold a tomato. <laughs> They're like rubber. It's cute. That's cute. Twenty four ninety nine. Very cute. Now we're going to close out our day at Epcot with a walk through the creation shop as we always do to see what new merchandise is available out and ready. Yeah. This is where Florida residents go back to their natural habitat, air conditioning. Yeah, I said that we're looking for new merchandise, but we're really just here for the AC. Yeah, there we go. So here's the... $79.99. There we go. Food brings the world together. Spirit jersey. This year's t-shirt. Oh yeah, I like mine from last year. Oh yeah, it's got the ratatouille, it's cute. Yeah. And I don't know why anybody would buy a sweater right now. Just looking at that makes me sick. Uh, but you can get that sweater for $99.99. So you have your little picnic tray, your snack oh, tray. Oh, that's cool. Look how nice, it holds the vodka bottle and then your first martini and all your refills. First, second, third, and fourth. Yeah, everyone can have Isn't their own nice? little everybody martini gets their own. 
Yeah, so you could just sit there on your lap and have your drink. And yeah, that's spur. a cute little idea. Yeah. And then a little mini picnic table. What is this, salt and pepper? Yeah. Uh huh. But you have no trash. I thought you had to push it. No. Push it good. So you get a fig figment pin for pass holders. Oh, okay. And yeah, pass holder section. $17.99. Mm -hmm. There's a t shirt. Yeah, cool. Ooh, that is like see through. Wow. Okay. You're going to see all the business. And that one. Interesting. And then same t shirt. And what's on the other side? The t shirt. Same t shirt. And we're going to go into Club Pool, which we haven't been into forever. I don't even know if we've ever done a video on this one. That's Italy. Italy? Why? I'm waiting. It's called Beverly. What do you think? It's like when you order a Sprite, but it's just the carbonation. Well, that's probably the nicest compliment Beverly's had in a long time. Philippines is watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. I can Canadian. smell it. I don't know. I just hear watermelon. All right, so we were just in the Club Cool. I think our two favorites were the watermelon. Yeah, that was good. And then uh, Dominican has like a creamsicle or Yeah, it's called Country Club. Yeah, I wish they would sell these. Yeah. Let's take a look at Club Cool. It's right next to Creations and across from Connections. All right, I think that's a wrap. Yeah, we just came in a little bit. It's starting to fill in. It's about, we're here about an hour and a half. Yeah. So we came, we just wanted to kind of focus on that Odyssey. Yeah, that was our main point today, and we I did a we did a lap around the, the countries, and you always regret it when you get back to like <laughs> Morocco, and you're like, why am I back? Here? Yeah, exactly. And you're like UK, you're like two more countries, and then you forget that little walk after Canada. Yeah, back and you're crawling back, and yeah, you're just waiting to get into the AC of the uh, of the creation yeah, the best shop. Part of summer, air conditioning. Yeah, right. But it was good, so come on out. I think, like I said, definitely try the Impossible Chicken Fingers. I'm gonna try to find those at the grocery store. Yeah, those are really good. Like, I had no idea. I forgot. And good. Same texture as like a Tyson Dinosaur Chicken Nugget. Yep. You wouldn't know the difference. Your kids would not know they were eating a plant. Yep. Very good stuff. And same thing with the Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna add uh, blue cheese and hot sauce next time I do Brussels sprouts. Yeah. That was something good to do. That'd Scotch be nice. bonnet was more like curry. I keep tasting curry on my lips. Yeah. More than uh, the spicy. And you could skip the mandarin orange. It really didn't do anything. No. Uh, and the same for the pickle. Yeah, that pickle, uh, I, w I was kind of excited to see what it would be like, and it was just bland, really. Bland, I think, is a good yeah, word for it. We made fried pickles last night, and they were better. Yeah, they were much better, and I didn't even like those. And the kids love the mango lassi. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's always gonna, a good choice. I know we're going to come back and do Phillips. We have uh, lunch at Le Cellier. We haven't mm -hmm. eaten dinner there in years. Forever. Probably 25 years. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy the kids want to see Phil Phillips because we saw Phil Phillips when, when I know. he was on American Idol before the kids could even ask for video games. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. So I think we're done. It's hot. It's just ready to go. start. Yeah, it's just the start of the food of wine. Just the beginning. So as you're looking online, you see food and you can't come down and visit or you're like us and you want to get out of the house until it's December. Let us know, put in the comment section what food you want us to try, and we're happy to try it. We'll just send you the bill, yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, we would love to do that. That would be fun. Yeah, tell us what you want us to eat, yep. and uh, and who you want to eat it. If you want, I know our son Eden hates spicy, so if you find something spicy, we'll make him eat it. Uh, Ethan's kind of like Mikey, he eats everything. He does, yeah, he's, he's pretty good like that. So but, uh, anything you see, let us know. We're definitely going to come back and do the Lamb Heroes. and oh, We'll and be back many honey, times. That honey cheese uh, in the Greek. Uh, thing we like that yes. for sure. Yeah. Um, so we've other festival favorites that we'll come back to. The kids like the cheddar cheese soup in Canada. Yep. But uh, all good. Keep watching. There's more to come. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you. Have a good day.